Hi. My name is Moyash. According to developers and users, VLC is one of the best media players on the planet. VLC works on all devices running Windows, Mac, Linux, and even Android. VLC is a free and open source multimedia player that plays most media files with no need to install external codecs. In this video, I will show you how to download and install VLC Media Player on your Windows PC and the best settings to have better performance of using VLC Media Player. So, let's begin. Open Google page and search for VLC. Here is the official site of VLC. VideoLan.org slash VLC. I will put the link to this page in the description. Now, the main download button is set to download the latest version for Windows 64-bit. Please note this writing here. And note the link here when you hover the download button. For more options, click down this arrow. Here is a version for Windows 32-bit. A 64-bit version for Windows. VLC for other operating systems, Mac, Linux, Android. I need the 64-bit version for my PC. So, let's just click the main download button. Wait for few seconds. Here it is. Save file. OK. Before we leave here, I want to show you a little thing. Let's go back in browser. Click down this arrow. Click Other Systems. Here is VLC for all available platforms. Click on Windows. Here, the main download button changed to download the 32-bit version instead of the 64-bit version. Please note this writing here. And note the link here when you hover the download button. And, if you click down this arrow, it will show all download options for only Windows PCs. These compressed packages are portable versions that doesn't need to be installed. Just extract and run. But, I always do not recommend using portable software. Unless you are in strong need for them. And, here is the installation file for 64-bit version. I think that's all about downloading. And now, let's install VLC. Close that. Here is the file we just downloaded. Double click. Choose language. English. OK. Click Next. License Agreement. Click Next. No need to change these installation components. Click Next. Keep the destination folder as it is. And click Install. Wait for seconds. Now it is installed. And a shortcut is generated on the desktop. Uncheck that. And click Finish. No need for the .exe file anymore. Delete that. And double click the shortcut. I don't recommend giving permissions through network. So uncheck them both. And click continue. Now, VLC is ready for work. 
but let's change some settings for better performance. Click Tools menu, then Preferences. Show controls in full screen mode. Keep it checked. Integrate video. Keep it checked. System tray icon. Uncheck that. Resize interface. Uncheck that. Use only one instance. Uncheck that. I prefer multiple players. Scroll down. For privacy, uncheck save recently items. Now, to set up associations from here. Microsoft will not allow you anymore. You have to do it through Windows settings. Now, while we are here, go to Audio tab. If you have any problems when playing audio files, just change output module to DirectX and everything will work fine. If you have no problems, keep it on automatic. In video tab, no need to change anything. In subtitles tab, the default encoding Windows 1252 is the best for almost all languages. Keep codec settings as it is. And in hotkeys tab, I will change a lot of things. For full screen, I like to use the Enter key for full screen mode. Just double click the letter F and hit Enter from keyboard. Then click Assign. This will change the hotkey from F button to Enter button. Exit full screen by Escape button. The space bar for Play and Pause. OK. Next file. End button. Previous. P button. Stop. S button. For very short backwards jump, double click this option. And hit the left arrow key from keyboard. Then click assign. For very short backwards jump, double click this option. And hit the right arrow key from keyboard. Then click assign. For next frame, double click this option and choose the F letter from keyboard. The quit VLC, I like to use only the Q letter. Double click and choose the Q letter from keyboard. The increase volume, the up arrow key is enough. Double click and choose the up arrow key from keyboard. The decrease volume, I will use only the down arrow key. For mute, M is a good choice. For snapshots, I will use Ctrl plus S key. For recording, I will use Ctrl plus R key. Click Save. It is better to close VLC to let the changes be ready for the next use. Now, time to set up associations. I have here some audio and video files. Right-click on an audio file and choose Properties. As you see, it is set to be opened by Windows Media Player. The same for video files too. To make VLC the main media player on your Windows 10 PC. 
Open Settings. Go to Apps. Default Apps. Here, change the music player to VLC. And change the video player to VLC. Then, exit. And, as you see, the look of the both audio and video files is changed to VLC style. Let's check it. Opens with VLC. And, for that too. Opens with VLC. OK. Let's see VLC in action. Double click any file. Minimize that. Volume up, by up arrow key. Volume down, by down arrow key. Volume up again. Nice. Jump forward, by right arrow key. Jump backward, by left arrow key. Great. Full screen, by enter. Exit, full screen, by enter, or escape key. Pause and play, by space bar. Mute, by M key. And quit, by Q key. Very great. I love VLC. If you like my video, please subscribe and consider donating to Moyash on Patreon or PayPal. Thank you for your support. See you next time.